So go ahead, please uh, introduce yourself for everybody at home and tell them, uh, you know, a little bit about yourself. Hi, my name is Michelle Nimmo. I go to Biloxi High School and I am a volunteer here at Bul Back Bay Mission in Biloxi. Awesome. And uh, how long have you been volunteering here at Back Bay Mission? For as long as, like, my mom has worked here a few times, usually on Fridays or times like past 1 o'clock, like after 1.30 when they close down for breaks and all that stuff. I come back and I volunteer to help watch and make sure everything's going well or I'll stay here on Fridays. I think 50 hours or so or more I've volunteered. So. And that's in total, right? Yeah, and I think they're a little bit more after the few times after that. Okay, so. okay. Now, could you maybe, you, you shared a little bit, uh, could you share what your responsibilities, what your duties are, what you do here when you do volunteer? Yes, um, so we, what I do is I usually do the showers or I help my mom in the closet, which I, when we're doing showers, they each get 15 minutes. You knock on the door every time they have five minutes left, make sure that the baskets when they get full um, dump them in the wash machine make sure it doesn't get too full or because it's like people use them you don't want to leave them there so you make sure and then if they're in there for too long of course knock again and be like hey it's time for you to get out so we can get the next person in. and then there's a list you go by too okay so it's always whoever's first and then some people of course they're not going to be in here so you cross them out but then sometimes you give them a second chance because they were going to get lunch or something and then in the closet when I volunteer with my mom it's she has those little slips they fill out a slip and we go in there and I just go and grab the clothes for her so she kind of tells me what to do and directs me but other than that I kind of learned most of it so for those that aren't aware, can you explain uh, what the closet is you're talking about? The closet is a basically a big basically a big closet. It's filled with clothes, pants, um, there's hygiene products, and most of it in, which is directed by my mom. And she it's basically when they come in and they write down like, hey, I need a shirt and some pants for the day, then my mom will go grab and look at their size, be like, hey, they have an extra large t-shirt and like size 40 pants, so we'll grab them for that, which we always don't have the right stuff, which is kind of sad. Wish we could give it to them, but we run out. We need more donations. Always, always need more donations. So what would you say then, talking about donations, what is the most needed thing that the clothing closet needs? Pants. Four? pants for men. Women maybe a little bit, but there's a lot of times I've noticed whenever I volunteer, there's a lot of like children's clothes that they will donate or just some people just come in there here and dump what they don't want instead of like considering what we might need. So I think we need more pants, um, more stuff for like winter time. I know it doesn't snow here, but it does get cold and I would hate for them to have to like sit under sit somewhere and they're freezing so blankets and all that stuff blankets for sure would be great and what size and going back to the pants what size above 40 or smaller than 40 so like of course i'm not shaming anyone but of course there are some homeless people who are a bit bigger and then there's some homeless people who are very very small and skinnier so it's like we need those small pants so sometimes the kids pants work out but then again, doesn't because they're adults still. It doesn't fit them very well. But yeah, we need, we have more of in the middle between those two sizes of what can fit. Okay, so let's switch gears for a second. Um, have you volunteered anywhere else before coming to Back Bay Mission? I worked at a baseball game. I did concessions for my aunt's uh, mom. Okay. I did concessions and I worked at a cash register and all that stuff. And in Shreveport, Louisiana, I volunteered uh, with my friends, or not my friends, my mom, a friend of my mom's, her wife, she used to make a huge meal and set out by the train station and feed it to the homeless. So I used to go feed uh, the homeless with her. Oh, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you, you have a little experience before coming to Back Bay Mission? Yeah, I try to. I like to volunteer. Okay. So is there um, a particular person or a story or a memory that you have here at Back Bay Mission from volunteering 
that maybe helped change your perspective on something or maybe it taught you something that you didn't know that you're going to take with you going forward? Um, I feel like if you work hard and you put your mind to it, you can do it because I've met Sarah, which is the director now, right? Um, she was a correctional officer from my information before and she she's like the sweetest person I know and then Kirsten she's one of the um, caseworkers she's really sweet and like sometimes people there's not a lot of women in the police force either t so when I think about that it was like if I really think about it I could become a correctional officer or something like that and then there's homeless people too as well that work really hard like they'll stay after they'll wipe the tables and help us clean up like instead of just leaving and be like okay I'm out like they'll stay after and they'll help and they still work to make money to live and they're trying like so I feel like those people are the ones that show me that you can do more what you have right now because you are trying to work hard okay so with that in mind um, you're gonna be graduating high school soon right mm -hmm. what's your plan for the future I would like to become a correctional officer or join the police force. So um, I want to start as a correctional officer and maybe work up from there because I went to a camp called Camp Rescue and we um, I volunteered, I wore fire suits, We um, I volunteered for almost everything when it came into that and I loved it so much and I um, one of the officers there even told me they were like if you come work here we really need more people especially women because there was a um the only woman that i met in there was the um like the warden it was really cool i thought it was really cool and i was like i think i'm fit for the job and i really like it so awesome so it sounds like you kind of have a plan in place okay so um last question and i hate to put you on the spot but i'm going to so if there's someone watching out there that happens to be in high school and um, they've never volunteered or maybe their church group comes down here but they've never been before, yeah. um, what would you say to that person? Why would you say it's worth it to come volunteer at least just once? Because you're helping people. Like it's, I don't know a lot of people and a lot of kids my age personally, they like to go out, they like to go have fun and like and I hate to say this, smoke or drink and all that stuff. Me personally, I don't. I just really like helping people and I'm a workaholic. I even have a job that I'm about to go after this. Um, I just think it's for the best. I mean, you might not meet a whole lot of great people here or you might not click with them, but it's so, it feels so good. Like my first time here, I was so tired because I was running around. I was like recently got out of my boot, which I had a broken foot. And I was so happy. I was like, oh my God, I feel so good. I'm helping all these people. They're all so nice to me and they're glad that I'm helping them. So I feel like if you really, really want to make a difference and help people, you should come volunteer.